Hi, welcome to today's video. I have to be really quiet because I'm filming this at night and this is what I get for filming at one o'clock in the morning. Um, so today's video is going to be reassurance. I'm gonna talk about something that's been on my mind for the past two days and I'm not gonna go into all that detail and sorry I have makeup on one I I was gonna do a Harley Quinn look but I didn't um, but there are times where people would self-harm and there's a lot of people who know where the main entities of self-harm is. Self-harm could go onto your wrist, your upper, your th your legs, your stomach, your neck, if you can cover it with your hair or a scarf. Um, I've never really self-harmed, like, really bad that I had to hide it. It was just, it's just that sometimes it's really hard for people to, to be a part of life. Now, I would self-reassure people and put my... <laughs> others in front of myself to make me feel happy, to make me feel like I felt loved. And so many things have happened between that I've made people happier and that is what make, makes me happy. It's something that I've always really enjoyed doing and not only did I enjoy doing what I like love is to make people smile is to make people do what they want to do and it's it's a constant battle between everybody because no one knows if someone's going through a hard time or not. I met this person. We were going through situations. And I felt a gut, in gut instinct that this person was going through something. And I didn't realize that they were going through something until recently and but me and this person immediately connected because we both were looking out for each other we both looked out for people we both put people before us. we put ourselves and that's just, that's just us. And this person loves acting and theater and singing and, and all, all of what I like, this person likes Once Upon a Time. And there's not a lot of people who I can say really enjoy what I like to do. And I found her due to another, I found this person due to another person. And it's hard giving up some addiction to another person, to a person that you really do care for and you really that you really do care for it and that you really do want to adore and I've been I've been feeling this way for quite a while right now 
And it's hard because she's this person. Or this person gave me a life that was a little better than what I was going through. She knew, this person knew about a struggle I went through and about a, about a few struggles that I've been through and I didn't want anybody to know and ship off to and be all like a, have people laugh at your, in your face and I don't want to cry on here because I don't think I've ever cried on YouTube, but <sighs> I was going through a lot. Um, in these past years, I was going through a heckle of a lot of situations and I didn't know what to do. I turned to God. I turned to my spiritual side, but that didn't keep me from falling into a deeper hole because I was deeply obsessed with stuff. And when I first met this person that helped me a little bit this person kind of sort of left my life but then came back because they knew that I was going through this whole situation and I'm going and they're going through their own situation and for me it kills me It kills me to see people sad. It really does. And then when other people have their own situations. And when I have my own situations and I have ideas for other people. And then I'll just sit here in my room and think about what what I tried to say to this, another person or what I tried to say to the other person but I can't anymore and my first video was my first video of this whole topic was put yourself before you are your others but I didn't do that I was wanting to put people in front of myself because I was so afraid of losing myself due to them. And it's hard. It is very hard to know that an entity like that would n curl up inside your heart and inside your body. and inside your soul you're I've had shock therapy I've had a little bit of a shock therapy but it wasn't it wasn't like zzz, 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 like all that but it was just it's just that I was I'm hurt and scared and I felt alone even though I'm not alone in this situation you're not alone nobody is alone nobody's truly alone but when if you feel like you're alone in this world or you're, you feel like you're gonna hurt yourself Please think, please think of what you're losing. Your family will always love you, even if they don't show it. 
they will always love you. And it's not like I'm saying this because because I'm being the whole person who is like, oh, holy girl, but there are people who truly adore you, and I've been, I felt like I was never adored by anybody. I felt like I was never really truly adored by anybody. I was sick and tired of people hurting me. I was sick and tired of people wanting to hurt me and and I felt alone. And I felt like no one cared about me. And this is why I go on the internet a lot because I have people who care who I know care and and when people who I know care that I don't know personally that I know some life personally I was just I'm I'm appreciated about everything. I feel appreciated now that I've made friends on the internet. I feel like I can do a little more. In these past few months I felt like nothing but it's it's gonna be hard. But you're gonna walk through the doors of your house or your room or whatever you're doing and you're gonna say, hey, today's gonna be a good day and you're gonna put a fake smile on and then you go see your online friends or your friends that you've known for like ever and you're gonna be happier. Because that's how I feel. So, that's the end of my video. Stay happy. Stay happy and classy. Peace, love, happiness. I love you guys. Thank you for watching.